There's all different types of people um, interested in learning about all different types of topics, um, even outside of what they do every day because of the diversity of the ideas and backgrounds. The energy here has just been fantastic. The fact that you meet people from very different walks of life, business executives, startups, academics, entrepreneurs, as well as investors. And that cluster of activity and energy is really unmatched. To hear different groups who are in their own silos talk about why their category is important and put it all together in one space is something that allows you to connect more dots than you would just reading online. Every previous technology in the history of humanity has had the following characteristic. People over expected it to change their lives in the short term and underappreciated how much it would change the world in the long run. One of the things that AI will allow us to do is to recombine ideas like never before, come up with new inventions like never before, and have an innovative spurt like never before. There's 8 billion people on the planet. How do you ensure every single person is brought up to speed? There's not enough teachers for equal access to the highest level of education. And as AI gets better, this is the worst that it's ever going to be. The arrival of non-human intelligence, AI intelligence, is at the level of electricity or the invention of fire, or transportation, et cetera, in human history. Technology transformations are challenging. Part of the reason I refer to AI is the cognitive industrial revolution, but the transitions are difficult and painful. The reason why firms have to hire people, train them, and then put them in this somewhat of a draconian hierarchy is because the transaction costs tend to be cost prohibitive. There's a quote from Pablo Picasso, who's had an early computer, kind of looked at it, you know, it's really not that interesting. All it does is give you answers. And of course, asking the questions is really where the value is. You know, at this time when AI is such a powerful tool, but we're at such early days of it, it's so exciting to get people that want to meet and talk about what they're doing and listen and learn and uh, be challenged by uh, new things. It's our responsibility to make products that work for users without the users having to even know that you're using AI, right? There's so many different perspectives and so many things to learn, even if they're not in your industry. By talking to a diverse group of people, kind of give a, a bigger holistic picture of the, the AI ecosystem. A lot of things that are super hard are going to get easier. We're not going to say, okay, now let's just maintain our ambitions and keep doing the same thing, we're actually going to raise our ambitions. And my prediction is there's going to be more engineers, not fewer.